winds. They are sustained between about 15 to 30 miles per hour, and we're still seeing gusts upwards of 40 to near 50 miles per hour in spots across the region. Now, I expect the winds to slowly, emphasis on slowly, start dropping over the next 24 hours, but it's not going to make too much of a difference with temperatures sitting in the single digits. You can see that trend for your Saturday as we start looking at more so mid to lower 30s by the latter part of the day for those gusts with sustained winds between about 10 to 20 miles per hour. But with the temperatures not warming very much, we're still going to see these frigid wind chills. Look at the readings across the entire region. In fact, as you get into eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania, we have some of the coldest wind chills in the entire region right now. Now we talked about this through tonight. I expect that to range between about minus 20 to minus 30. During the day tomorrow, there are some improvements. As winds start to come down and air temperatures warm a few more degrees, we'll see these wind chills dropping to about minus 10 to minus 20 and then kind of hovering in that range overnight into your Christmas morning. Now we start Christmas Day still feeling sub-zero wind chills during the afternoon. Well, this, this is about as good as we can get here. It feels like it's in the positive side of the single digit temperatures, but into Monday we'll continue seeing those readings improve. Now, as far as Storm Team 27 Viper radar goes, there are some pockets of light snow and flurries out there. That's what we'll see through tonight. Not picking up on a whole lot, but we've been getting reports of occasional flurries, and I do expect that to continue over the next 24 hours, but it's not going to add up to much at all. At most, maybe an isolated half inch to an inch in some spots, but I'm not looking for a whole lot of accumulation. The winds helping us out a little bit, coming more so in our area out of the southwest, driving a lot more of that snow across the lake and into New York State. So as we look at this on Future Tracker, the main thing we're looking at, lots of clouds around, the temperatures sub-zero through the night, starting to go positive. You see a few snow showers trying to show up here on our Saturday. That is a possibility, but it wouldn't add up to a whole lot. As we go through the day, when the air temperature rises into the positive side of things, it still feels like it's below zero, though, through the afternoon and evening. We're still going to see slick spots possible here throughout the day. Temperatures as they stay in the single digits, salt makes it uh, not as effective. So we'll still have pockets of icy spots and snow blowing over the roads. Into tomorrow night, you see things still looking uh, pretty dry on here. Not a whole lot of snow into your Christmas day either. But temperatures, they will remain cold for Christmas. So minus five, that low tonight. Chance for occasional snow. Blowing snow continues into tomorrow. It will still be windy. We're looking at four the low for Christmas Eve night and Christmas Day, an isolated flurry. Look at that heat wave, 15 degrees, your high temperature there. And each day next week slowly gets warmer. There's another little storm system I'm watching on Monday, brings the chance for some snow showers later in the day and lingering into Tuesday morning. And then we go above freezing finally by Wednesday.